Hey Red Hawks, welcome back to MHS News. I'm Cam Beal. And I'm Jordan Campbell. This is MHS News for Tuesday, April 16th. Top in our news, we are gearing up for Shapani Day on Thursday. This is a day of giving back to Maris. There are tons of challenges for each class. When you give a donation, you will be put in a raffle to win some awesome prizes. During the day, there will be some fun activities. The religion department is hosting a block party. There will be a service project and a bouncy house during lunch periods. And a live stream throughout the day hosted by your student council representatives. More exciting events this week, starting with Mass tomorrow, where the seniors will be celebrated and a big award going to some of our faculty members. And to end our week this Friday is our spring pep rally. So get excited, Red Hawks. You're in for a treat. Notre Dame came to visit Maris. Their jazz band joined the Maris Jazz Band for a performance last Friday. The Maris Jazz Band opened the show with a great performance. Then the New Orleans Brass Band of Notre Dame performed a New Orleans style group of songs. After that, the Notre Dame Jazz Band finished off the performances with some more great music. It was a great performance from all the bands. Ever wonder why you can't bring your Starbucks or Dunkin' into school? MHS media reporter Kaylin Howell did some digging and has an analysis of this controversial issue in the showcase section of our news website. That's mhsmedia.maris.net. Tickets for prom and the spring dance are due today. Seeing as your prom, prom forms are due by the end of the day to Miss O'Neill's office located near Chapin Square. Juniors, turn in your spring dance forms to Miss Hannah's office in the cafeteria. Remember, you must have your forms signed and have your money as well to be able to attend. Maris Youth is collecting used shoes for the shoe drive in an effort to aid the local charity Christmas Without Cancer. The drive will continue until May 1st. If you would like to donate any shoes, please drop them in the boxes located in Champagne Square, the main office, outside the tribute room, or the cafeteria. Attention all students, since it's the end of the year is right around the corner, library books need to be returned. Please get those books turned into the ARC by the end of the day today. Now let's get an update on Maris Sports. I'm Kyle Phelan with a look at sports. We have a ton of games over the next few days. Today, boys track has their big conference meet at Notre Dame. Girls softball faces JCA at home. Come out and support them. All boys volleyball teams face Carmel Catholic away. The whole boys baseball program plays Providence today. Boys varsity lacrosse faces Bennett at home. Good luck to all athletes. That's all for our sports. Now let's get a check on our weather with Peter. Over the next few days, it's going to be beautiful with the weather in the mid-70s. Today is going to be a high of 74, and it will only be cold in the morning with a low of 49. Then tomorrow, there might be a couple showers throughout the day, but it will be a high of 70, and at night, it will drop down to 59. On Thursday, the high temperatures start to pass since we'll only have a high of 64, and we will drop down to 49 in the evening. That's the weather. I'm Peter Cambulis. Back to the desk. So, Cam, what are you looking forward to on Champagne Day? Uh, so, like we said in the top story, uh, I will be one of the representatives hosting the live stream. So, I'm really looking forward to that, and I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. So, thanks for watching MHS News. I'm Cam Beal. And I'm Jordan Campbell. Fly high, Red Hawks.